Ferrari were certainly busy on Wednesday at the Bahrain International Circuit on the first of three days of official preseason testing in Sakir. As soon as the light at the end of the pit lane turned green, Charles Leclerc took to the track, first on the C2 and then with the softer C3, with which he set his personal best time. In the early afternoon, the Scuderia mechanics then switched the car configuration to suit Carlos, and the Spaniard duly completed the Marinello team's program for the day. The atmosphere in the Ferrari garage was serene after the first day of collective testing in Bahrain. The blow that Max Verstappen delivered to everyone with the Red Bull RB20 must of course be taken into consideration, but it shouldn't hurt. Certainly, the gap that the three-time world champion inflicted on the best pursuer did not go unnoticed, but there was no panic in the Marinello team. Carlos Sainz, who drove in the afternoon, finished in third place on the timesheet. True, with 132.584, he finished a 1.2 seconds behind the Dutch champion, but he's within a tenth of Lando Norris with the McLaren MCL 38, the car most likely to be the top contender for Red Bull. Output? Certainly the new Red Bull has raised eyebrows throughout the paddock, but Fred Vasseur's team, at least for today, remained composed. The work plan that Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz had was clear inside, so there were no surprises. The goal was to discover the characteristics of the SF24 after the Fiorano filming day. The drivers were tasked with performing aerodynamic tests for the car mapping, followed by data scanning a methodical planned job designed to find all correlations with the wind tunnel and simulation systems. We saw Max Verstappen a lot faster than Charles Leclerc on the straight in the morning session in terms of top speeds, but the Dutchman had opened the DRS while the Monegasque was running with the closed DRS in a baseline configuration. An utterly uneven duel. Output. Ferrari chose to run only with the hardest compounds in the available Pirelli range, namely C1 and C3 and there was always a lot of fuel in the tank. From tomorrow, after completing the machine understanding plan, the development phase will begin with the first setup adjustments. Despite the similarity, comparisons with other teams are always very difficult. In any case, this exercise will be easier in the next 48 hours. Charles Leclerc ended the day with a time just 20 thousandths better than his time on the first day last year. After the first day, Lando Norris and Max Verstappen are ahead of the Ferrari duo. Still, the lap times will be looked at with great caution at the end of the three days. The most important aspect that emerged today is that the SF24 is much gentler on the tires. Carlos Sainz in his long run saw times decreasing as the fuel on board decreased. Tire wear, a main weakness from last year, seems under control, and even the inherent understeer of the SF23 seems significantly less pervasive. At the end of the first eight hours of 2024, no complaints were heard from drivers on the team radio. This is a good sign when compared with what they experienced last season. Early indications suggest the SF24 has a more consistent aerodynamic platform. A lack of consistency was the SF23's Achilles heel. Between the SF24 and the SF23, there is an especially noticeable improvement in cornering at low speed, one of the few strong points of the old red car. We will see in the next few days if this trend will remain constant. In the afternoon, some checks were carried out on the car, dismantling the floor to check that all the sensors were working correctly. Over these three days, cars will have 30% more sensors than on normal race weekends. The summary of the day for the Marinello team seems positive. 133 laps were covered, 64 for Charles Leclerc and 69 for Carlos Sainz, a distance equivalent to over two Grand Prix. Ferrari did not encounter technical problems, so the expectation is that starting tomorrow, direct comparisons with the competition can begin. The Marinello team, for now, can still sleep soundly.